So it appears that Albie sure just refuses to admit that he's a weak man. He let Diddy steal his wife and child. And he continues to beg his child to come home. Quincy is a grown man at this point in time. Quincy can make his own decision and has been. Hosting for clout, nothing breaks a dad more than seeing his love for his kids turned into a weapon against him. Free Quincy. First of all, he can't even spell Free Quincy. It's Free Quincy. Like Quincy is a is a victim, a slave, a little boy that needs help and saving. Why you ain't free him when he was a little boy? Albie sure came out and tried to discredit that Kim Porter uh, book that Courtney Burgess, Burgess wrote or revised a little bit because it exposed him and Diddy having a homosexual relationship. And I just feel like it's written all over your face. Absolutely. This is the, the biggest simp I've ever seen. Light-skinned man, I'll be sure, has proved that y'all are some of the biggest simps. And if he's saying Quincy's a victim, he's proven it further. It's a generation of simps. Now, in his respect, I do find it weird that, you know, Diddy uh, adopted Quincy and adopted Justin because they say it's not his biological son. And Justin's real father was pow pow or caught the pneumonia, just like any and every man that Kim Porter's been with, according to the manuscript. I feel like Quincy is comfortable if anything ever happened to him. I feel like he's comfortable with it. You know, um, according to Salone Bell, she said that Kim Porter discovered that Diddy did something immoral to a child. Um, and recently I seen reports saying Diddy messed with his daughters. And I was just like, Too, enough is enough. I don't think Diddy would touch his daughters, his biological kids. I don't think so. And so when Salone Bell said Diddy did something immoral to a child, I instantly thought that he did something to groom Quincy. And Salone Bella said that it happened a year prior to Kim Porter's passing in November. And that's around the time when uh, Diddy had this video out telling Quincy, look at my beautiful son, look at my beautiful boy. And then, you know, Quincy got on to Lee Daniels TV show Star. And this is around the same time when Diddy and Lee Daniels was kind of like look booed up or whatever. So some people speculated that, but there's absolutely no proof to it. People just come up with any and everything. I say, you know, the narratives are fascinating. That's why a lot of people listen to Jaguar Wright and other people um, that are bolstering her wild allegations. But uh, I'll be sure, sir, sir, if you can't get the sun back while... Uh, Diddy's locked up. That means he don't, he don't want nothing to do with you. And quite frankly, you know, if anybody close to Diddy that's a victim or will be used against him in the court of law, it will be Quincy. I remember when you passed out and, and then when the when the whole thing came out with Cassie and people started worried about Quincy, Diddy called the paparazzi to come to a little pizza parlor in Miami where Quincy picked him up to show you. And that was like the day after you got out of the corner, the, the corner. You got out of a coma, and then the next day, Diddy had your son to pick him up just to show you how much of a, he is to him. Okay? I hate to think of it that way, but Quincy is enjoying the lifestyle. Quincy's enjoying the lifestyle. He know what's good. He know what's best for him. He's doing what's best for him. And if, you know, if a lot of the theories about Quincy and Diddy is true, then... Like I said, maybe Quincy is actually going to be a witness in the Diddy case. Mm -hmm. You remember, he the one who opened the door for Department of Homeland. He's the one closest to his mother. And, you know, like Courtney Burgess said, if the boys really cared about her, they should have stopped him from beating her when she was alive. It makes a lot of sense, but all of that is just mere speculation. Maybe Quincy knows everything. Maybe Quincy's incentivized in some way, shape, or form. Community, like your mother's gone. Your, your dad's a wimp. Your dad's a bitch, literally. Your dad got buck broke by Diddy. That's why he was allowed to take you in and wipe. What are you going to do? 
Quince is good with his family in Columbus, with his mother. He's good with the Cone Boys. I think I'll be sure you just need to just just go away at this point in time. At this point in time, okay? You so you so you you in the category with Jack Jaguar Wright and all of them, the white dwarfs. You know, the the once upon a time was a star, still trying to stay relevant. You a grown man riding on your son nutsacks. Oh uh, yeah, that's crazy to me. But y'all, please hit the like, please hit the like, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. It's very important, okay? Absolutely, it's very important. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, all right?